Showed up. Showed up. What'd he do? Uh, yeah. Ooh, no. Pimpin'. Oh, boy. Uh. Okay, so hey, you guys. It's Chris Matina back with another video. And I'm back with another hair video. As you can see, um, the name of this wig is Baby Hair 102. It's a free trace equal wig, and this is the card for it here. And the color shown on her on the card is a T530. Yes, a 0T530. That's the color shown on her. But the color that I am wearing is a 1B. Now, the available colors are 1, 1B. 2, 4, 0T27, 0T30, 0T530. And this wig is curly and iron safe up to 400 degrees. And it is a center. The lace is only in the center. And um, now I was a little nervous about this wig, first of all, because it's, it already has baby hair. Like, it's a baby hair lace front. And I just, you know, sometimes with synthetic wigs, like, they can do, like, too much. Like... And I just felt like that the baby hair would be too much and I was going to have to, but they were perfect. Um. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like before I put it on my head. Y'all already know the routine. These are the combs. I got a comb on each side and they have a comb in the back. And this is what the baby hairs look like. Um, they are all over like they pretty much around the edges of the wig and i'm just gonna like apply the wig i'm just gonna put the wig on you know just to try it on to see you know how it fits and you know how it look just to kind of see you know where i'm at with it and y'all already know i always have my cap my cap excuse me i cannot talk i always have my cap on like push too forward I have to kind of like push it back some and I put I did apply foundation on my cap too you guys um because that cap is very very light so like I said I'm just trying it on just to kind of like see something or whatever and as you can see the baby hairs is just all around the edges all right, so I didn't cut the lace and I plucked the part some. This is how much hair I got from that part. Excuse that broke nail. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much, y'all already know I'm going to shift and pull and pull and shift just to get the wig on my head to my liking. And this wig fits. It just fits. It's not too tight. It's not too snug. It's not too loose. It pretty much just fits. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it just to get it on my head to where it feel right on my head and try to get the part centered and everything. And then I'm just going to kind of like, even though the baby hairs are already like laid, I'm going to try to like just comb them a little bit, try to comb them away from like the long hair just to get them out of the way. And then I'm going to kind of like cut some of like the flyaways. And y'all see them baby hairs? They are a good amount of baby hairs, I feel like. I was actually surprised. But they are a good amount of baby hairs. And like I said, I'm just kind of trying to brush them down, comb them down. Um, just to kind of like get them out of the way of the long hair. Okay, so now y'all already know the routine. I'm going to take my got to be glue and I'm going to take that little bit of... That's like a makeup tool. I'm just using it for the baby hairs. And I'm just going to pretty much slick the baby hairs. Not all the way down the side, but just the baby hairs that's right there um, in the top. Like in the front part of the wig. I'm just going to slick and swoop those. Because that's the only part that's going to be really showing. Like, you know, I just feel like, why would I swoop the sides? And then I took some foundation and put it on a little brush. And kind of put it in the part some, you know, so the wig could look a little bit more natural or whatever. And, you know, so everything could kind of like blend in. You can use whatever you want to use. You can use foundation, concealer, wig. whatever. Um, it's very soft. It's, this wig, this hair is really, really soft. 
which give me I feel like it's going to eventually probably tangle and I feel like it's going to tangle quick because it's so soft but you know it's really really soft I feel like it's I kind of feel like it's a closure and it's like it's sewn on or something like that's just how it looked really really secure and I like how it looked really really natural of course I had to make it look natural but it just feels really good and it's it just give me like human hair bundles type situation or whatever but like i said i really really like it um the baby hairs the baby hairs was perfect let me just tell you they were not too much um you know as you saw i just only like laid down the ones up here but i do feel like this wig is gonna tangle I feel like it's going to tangle fast and you know because as you can see right here and I think that this happened from because I was splitting it and pulling it around to the front and so yeah it's it's a really soft wig it's it's soft and it feels really good but I I feel like it's going to tangle really really fast um overall other than me feeling like and knowing that it's gonna tangle fast because it's already kind of trying to tangle i love it it looks really really good like it it looks like i went and got my hair done like i went and got it professionally done and i really really like it um majority i mean i would wear it in front of my shoulders i already know that's how i'm gonna wear it or whatever this is how it looks behind um my shoulders i like the curl pattern in it as well and um you can wash this wig you can wash and condition this wig um this the length it comes like past my bosoms my bosom area it come past that or whatever so um yeah that's pretty much it for this week and i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys enjoy all my you know my hair videos my wig videos whatever um make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like comment down below when you subscribe make sure you turn your post notification on so that you can get notified when i upload a video okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye